Good morning, everybody. So, I woke up this morning, got in the shower, and I was just like, man, I feel terrible. I feel terrible this morning. And I was just feeling so overwhelmed, so tired. And uh, something came to my mind. And while, what it was, while I was uh, getting ready to take a shower, I kept thinking, Lord, I feel so bad today. Is there just some way that you can use this? Is there just some way that you can use how I'm feeling right now to help somebody? I don't know why. No idea why. Um, so, I'm in the shower and something came to me. I didn't even know where it was in the Bible. I had heard this verse, obviously, because it's something that's very popular. And a lot of people, you know, you'll hear a lot of preachers preach on it. You'll hear a lot of people quote this scripture. And what came to me was, For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. So I opened up my Bible. Well, I searched it on my phone first, and I opened up my Bible. Excuse me. And then I searched where it was at. And when I read what he was talking about, I was like, wow, this is exactly, exactly how I'm feeling. I cannot believe, <laughs> and I don't know why, because God has a way of using things. He has a way of using people. He has a way of showing us something and us not even really realizing what he's showing us. So... If you turn to Matthew 11, um, the verse that I just quoted is Matthew 11, 30, but start reading from Matthew 11, 28. It says, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy. And my burden is light. People, if this right here this morning does not show you that God gives you what you need, nothing, nothing is going to. I fail daily. I fail God daily. I'm in no way perfect. Um, I'm a failure in general. I'm a failure as a Christian. I'm a failure as a person. That's just who I am. We are not meant to be perfect. The world expects perfection. God expects us to be what he wants us to be. He doesn't expect perfection from us. He knows that we're flawed. He made us. He knows how we are. He knows every everything that goes on in our minds, things that we look like as problems and issues. If you allow him to... He can use that. I am somebody that has major anxiety, major depression. I'm somebody, any little thing just stresses me out. Um, it doesn't take anything. And sometimes I embarrass my own self because I will get so stressed and so bothered by something that other people's like, why are you stressing so hard? It's nothing. But God says... That when you feel like that, when you are carrying a burden, regardless of if anybody else understands it, when you are carrying a burden, you lay it on Him. We are not meant to carry this burden on our own. We're not meant to carry this burden of life on our own. And that's what life is. It's a burden. It's hard. We all go through points in our life. We all go through seasons. Just bear with me here, people. <laughs> Because there's somebody that needs this, and I don't know why, but you need it, and you're going to need it today, and you just, just bear with me. We all go through seasons in our life. It's not perfect all the time. Life, you will have good moments, but you're going to have bad, and the bad will most likely outweigh the good. That is the way that life is. But God says, give me your burdens. Lay it on me. I will carry it for you. You don't have to carry this. God is going to carry it for you. So, Really, what you need is faith. 
you need faith. You need faith in God. You need faith in God to know that he's going to move for you. It's hard to have that faith, especially in this world, because people will cause you to lose your faith so quick. The world will cause you to lose your faith so quick because things happen. Things go wrong. Look, just look what's going on in the world right now, what's going on in the news. If you are not somebody that truly knows God, even if you do know God, you're going to be scared. Because there is so much going on. And it's made our personal lives so much harder. If you're somebody that takes care of other people, even taking care of yourself, you're stressed out. You're tired. I mean, it's life. The world has got to a point where everybody is in a hurry. We're all in a hurry. We're all rushed. We don't have time for ourselves. We don't have time to take a breather. We don't have time to just say, you know what, I need a break. Can you give me a break today? Because whether it be something in your personal life or something going on in the world, it will bring you down at some point. Whether it be every day or every other day, it's gonna bring you down. Whether you're stressing over bills, whether you're stressing over putting food on your table, you're stressing over a job, whether you're stressing over school, whatever it is, lay it on God's hands. Because God can carry it when you can't. You are only human. You are not expected to be perfect no matter what this world tells you. This world is a liar. It is filled with sin. It wants to bring you down because that is what the devil's goal is. When the devil goes down at the end, he don't want to go by himself. He wants to take everybody that he can. So he does that. He does all this stuff like stressing you out and putting you to the point that you're questioning your faith with God, questioning your work with God, questioning if God's real, questioning all this. He puts that on your mind to the point that he can cause you to be lost. I am somebody that I have, I've had my struggles like everybody else. I wake up every day and there are just some days that I want to lay in the bed and just say, you know what, I'm doing, I can't. I just, I can't do it. Like I could just curl up in a ball sometimes and cry because I am that stressed out. I'm carrying that much of a weight. And it's my own fault for not trusting in God and leaning on God and letting God carry that weight for me. And it is hard. It doesn't matter how close your walk is with God. You could be a preacher, whatever. You're still going to carry a burden. It's life. But God tells you in, in the word, in the Bible, right here. He tells you right here in this, in this book, in this Bible. He tells you what you have to do, how you have to survive. This is a road map. And a lot of people may say, oh, well, you know, I don't know if I believe in the Bible. I don't know if I think that's right. If it's not right, then how? In the world was I in that shower a while ago. The scripture come to me. I had no idea where it was in the Bible. I had no idea what it was related to. I had no idea that God was going to give me this message for somebody. I had no idea whatsoever what it was. So if this is not of God, if this is not real, if God's not real, if the word of God is not legit, then how else would I have came up with that? How else would that have came into my mind? How else? And, and you know, it's, it's kind of funny how it actually came across. Because I was in the shower and I was thinking the term goody-goody came to my mind. That's how it all started, the term goody-goody. I have been called a goody-goody all my life. Because I am somebody that would give my last dime to somebody. I am somebody that would lay down and take a beating for somebody I didn't even know. That's just who I am. That's who I am as a person. And I've been told many, many times, Andrew, you're a goody-goody. You can't do that for people. You can't lay down for people. You can't do that. You can't let people think that they can rule you or control you because you're that good of a person. But then he'd hit me. Why can't I be a good person? The Bible says to love like Jesus does. Jesus hung on the cross and died for us. That's love. There's nothing that I could do or anybody else could do in this life that would equal to that sacrifice. So, that's how it all started. And then I started, the devil has fought me all night long. I had to get up and turn my lights on, sleep with my lights on. The devil was just dealing with me hardcore last night. It was really, really bad. And then I, you know, I woke up, I was tired and I was feeling so overwhelmed. Excuse me. And I was just feeling, you know, so burdened. 
And then that scripture. That scripture. Carry that with you today. I don't know who you are. That I don't know who you are in this. I just, I really don't. But there is somebody that's going to watch this today. And you're going to need what I'm saying. Whatever's coming to you, you're going to need this. Carry it with you. I can feel it in my heart. I know that it's, I know that it's real. I know that it's true. I am somebody, like I said, I, I consider myself a sinner. I don't consider myself, um, where I need to be. I don't consider myself perfect. I don't consider myself nothing. I'm nothing. But God, I allow God to use me. Because that's what I want. I want God to use me. So whoever you are, carry this with you today. If you don't have your own Bible, you can download a Bible app on your phone. You can look it up on Google. You can look it up on the internet anywhere. Just look up Matthew 11 verses 28 through 30. Read it for yourself. If you don't understand the King James Version, a lot of people, they think that you have to just read the King James Version. That's fine. I have a King James Version Bible. But if you need it to where you can understand understand what it's saying a little bit better, use the New King James Version because it's pretty much the same thing. It just uses a little bit of different terms. So if you need to have a little more understanding within verses, just, just use the New King James Version. It's going to be the same word, same meaning. It's just a little bit different terms. But carry this with you today, y'all, because somebody's going to need it. It may even be me. I don't know. I don't know. But somebody's going to need this. There's a purpose for this right here this morning. And I truly hope that it helps somebody. But just remember, no matter how burdened you're feeling, no matter how heavy this world is feeling, give it to God. God made this world and if he can make the world, then imagine what he can do with your life. Just just give it to God. No matter what you're going through in your life, no matter if you're struggling, no matter if you're a young person, no matter if you're an old person, no matter what kind of sin is in your life, give it to God. Trust God. Let, allow God to minister to your heart. Allow him to carry your burdens. Allow him to be the one that bur that bears the weight in your life. You have to trust God. That is the only way you will ever survive in this life. It is getting harder, people, every day. It's getting harder. It's getting darker. This world's getting darker. People's hearts are getting cold and black. We are living in a hard time. And the sad thing is, is that this is still not the end. And they are going to be so much more. And it may be in a world where your children's growing up or your great-grandkids or your grandkids, whatever. That it may be in a world where you're not around. So you have to know that you have to stand with God because somebody's got to teach the children. You have to know, people. You have to know. You have to trust God. You have to know that He can move that he can work because everything in this life has a purpose right down to the tiny little bugs that crawl on the ground when god designed this world he designed it to where everything has a purpose like if, if a tiny ant can have a purpose a speck of dust a speck of dirt can have a purpose you have a purpose in this life you have a purpose. Allow God to carry your burdens. Don't let this world weigh you down. Let the weight go. Let the dead things go. That's something that I say a lot. Let the dead things go. And we are coming on a season. We're coming on fall. And in, in fall, the trees will shed its leaves. It sheds the leaves. The leaves will turn brown. And while the colors are beautiful, they fall to the ground. And the leaves wither up and then they go away. And they're just, that's it. They're gone. But when springtime comes, the trees bloom again. Let the dead things go. Let the things in your life that is over and done. Let the things that you can't control. Let the things that are just completely irrelevant. Let them go. Let, the, let them fall to the ground. Let them wither up and let them go. They're done. They're garbage. They're over. Throw them out. Don't carry that burden. Don't carry that burden in your life. Let it go. Just let it, let it go. 
It don't matter what it is. It don't matter if it happened 10 years ago and you're still carrying it on, you let it go. It don't matter if it happened five minutes ago, let it go. It's gone. It's gone. Let this be your season of change. Allow yourself to have that season of change. Let it go. It is so important. Let it go. Well, allow God to carry your burdens. Allow him to use you. Allow him to work with you in your life. Allow him to make a difference in your life. You have that opportunity. You have that chance. Let the dead things go. Whatever's weighing you down, let it go. And if you can't let it go and it's hard, let God carry it. Let God help you let it go. Lord, I feel better. I just feel better after I got that off of me. But somebody needed it today. And I pray, I pray that it reaches whoever. And I know that it will because if it, if it wasn't going to, God wouldn't have put it on me. He wouldn't have put it on me this morning because I was just really in a dark place when I woke up this morning. My anxiety was so bad and I was so tired. Just hang in there. Hang in there and know that God is going to make a way in your life. Stay strong. Don't, don't allow fear to control you. Walk through your day and hold your head up high and know that God is going to carry your burdens. He is strong. He is powerful. And if he can make this world and hold it in the palm of his hand, he can do all this for you. Stay strong. Have a blessed day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you guys later.